Today I'm giving you a short underbonnet tour around the key external components of a General Motors Ecotec four-cylinder petrol engine. We're going to start with a view of the engine from the front of the car and move around the engine looking clockwise from above. Fitted directly into the cylinder head are the four injectors with the fuel rail running above them. Bolted to this front side of the cylinder head is the inlet manifold onto which is fitted the throttle body. On the right end is the integrated oil filter housing and oil filter cap incorporating an oil filter bypass valve. Below the oil filter housing is the location of the crankshaft position sensor and bolted directly to the bottom left of the cylinder block is the air conditioning compressor. Back at the top of the engine is the oil filler cap to the right as we look and the coolant outlet to the radiator near the left corner. On the inlet manifold next to the throttle body is the engine ECU and below that the alternator. The starter and its solenoid are directly behind the aircon compressor. The right side in car line is what many consider the front of the engine. At the top can be seen the cam cover and down the front side the alternator and compressor pulleys. In the lower middle of this face is the crankshaft pulley and above that the auxiliary belt tensioner. Taking up about half this side of the engine is the timing cover with an access cover for the water pump which is within the timing cavity. This face also gives the best view of the location of the turbocharger recirculation valve also called a diverter valve. As we move round toward the rear of the engine, the turbocharger comes into view on the compressor side with its air inlet and compressed air outlet. The turbo is mounted on the exhaust manifold and the wastegate actuator is sat on top of the turbo. At the rear bottom position is the sump oil drain point. On the rear side we can now clearly see the turbocharger with its turbine and compressor and centre housing rotating assembly between the two. Also on this side is a clear view of the turbo oil and coolant supply and outlet pipes. From the rear left corner we can now see the exhaust outlet from the turbocharger turbine and on the end of the block is the thermostat housing with its main outlet to the radiator and immediately below is a blank for the fitment of an engine preheater element. Also from this viewpoint you can clearly see the oil cooler and its coolant connections. The cooler is the oil to water type. From the left end one can see the spark plug and ignition coil gallery running along the length of the cylinder head along with the positions for the cam driven vacuum pump and the power steering pumps. Lower down is the position of the flywheel or torque converter depending upon the transmission fitted and the engagement point for the starter pinion. Finally as we come back round to the front again we get a clear view of the throttle plate drive unit incorporating the drive-by-wire motor and the position potentiometers. 